You love your car, but the sound of your factory stereo is just not cutting it. You start researching how to upgrade your radio, and it just seems impossible. No need to worry. You can still upgrade the sound and keep your factory radio using a little box of magic. Or DSP. How's it going everyone? My name is Dan and today we're going to talk about DSP. Now what is a DSP you ask? Well DSP stands for Digital Signal Processor. Now what exactly does that mean? Well today we're going to dive in a little deeper and find out. Before we dive into the DSP, let's talk a little bit about what the standard process is for upgrading the sound system in your car. Typically you would change out the radio or head unit, upgrade your speakers, and add some amps and subs. The head unit was normally the place to start because it would have more control over the sound than your factory radio and make adding amps so much easier. But what if the factory radio in your car already has all the features you want? What if it is so integrated into your dash that it cannot be changed? What if you just flat out don't want to change the look of your dash but you still want better sound? Well, a DSP solves all these issues and gives you even more control over the sound than most aftermarket head units. Let's take a closer look at a DSP. Now this is the little box of magic I was talking about. This is the Alpine PXE-0850X. We'll just call it the 850X for short. It is designed to give you full control over the sound in your vehicle and give you options on how to integrate it into almost any vehicle. It's basically like adding an aftermarket head unit without changing out your factory radio. Now I like to think of a DSP as having two sides. There's the input side and the output side. Let's start by taking a look at the input side. The input side of a DSP is what is connected to whatever source you're using for music. It could be an aftermarket head unit like the Halo 9 or your factory radio. Now how is this? Well that's because there are multiple inputs that can accept anything from a low voltage signal via RCA connectors like you would find in an aftermarket head unit to high voltage signal like speaker outputs of a factory radio. There's even digital and Bluetooth audio inputs too. The DSP takes the signals from whatever source you're using and gives you the type of output you need to add amps to build your full sound system, just like an aftermarket head unit would do. Now let's talk about the output side. The 850X is really unique in that it offers two different types of outputs. There are 12 channels of low voltage outs that you would use to directly connect to amplifiers. Of those 12 channels, the first eight channels actually have a built-in amplifier delivering 25 watts per channel so you can even power speakers directly off this DSP. Now this is really cool because it gives you options with your system and even gives you the choice to install a DSP now and add amps later if you're on a budget. Remember earlier when I said that a DSP gives you even more control over the sound than an aftermarket head unit? Well this is because the PXE-0850X has 12 channels that are fully customizable with crossovers, EQ, and time alignment. Now I'm not going to go in too deep on what each of these are in this video, but crossovers are basically like telling each speaker what range of sound to play. For example, you don't want a tweeter trying to play bass. Now EQ, or equalization, is how you shape the sound. This is like your bass and treble controls that you have on your factory radio. But think of there being 31 bass and treble controls per channel. Pretty cool. Time alignment, or signal delay, makes the sound from every speaker in your car reach you at the same time. This is how you can have a sound stage across the front of your car. Think of the best live performance you've ever been to. Do you remember the sound? The singer being right front and center, drummer right behind them, guitarist and bassist on either side. That is the sound stage. And what a DSP can do is it can recreate that sound stage in your car. So think of having your favorite band performing your favorite songs right out in the hood of your car. Hopefully, hopefully you're listening to better music than what he can do. So if you're looking to upgrade the sound system in your car without the hassle of changing out the head unit, try out a DSP. Hey, hit that like button if this video helped out in understanding what a DSP is and can do. If you want to learn even more about the tools needed to install and tune a DSP, as well as how to install and set one up, be sure to get subscribed. We have some more DSP related content coming at you real soon. Once again, my name is Dan and we'll see you in the next video.